told you guys that with just a couple of quick hacks, you could repurpose a cheap $50 wireless guitar system into a wireless in-ear monitor system. Would you believe me? I guess you'll just have to stick around to find out. I'm Dan, this is Guns and Guitars, let's get started. As always, here's to you guys. Ah, coffee. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Kugo wireless guitar system. There are a few reasons why I chose the Kugo wireless system for this demonstration, as opposed to some of the other brands. And one is because it's one of the more affordable options. At about 50 to $60, it's about half the price of the X-Vive or the Nux system. The second reason is because it's a newer design that just came out this year, and compared to some of the other 2.4 gigahertz wireless guitar systems, this one I found to be a little bit stronger and a little bit more stable. And lastly, there's a feature on this Kugo wireless this guitar system that you won't find on any other wireless guitar system as of now, and that's a built-in headphone amp. And that's a really important feature, and not just because it's fun to be able to plug in a pair of headphones without having to plug into an amp and jam along. Because of that feature, we can actually repurpose this thing to be used as a wireless in-ear monitor system. Something you might notice is that the Rowan wireless guitar system is literally the exact same thing as the Kugo wireless guitar system. The difference is that the Kugo one right now is cheaper, so buy the Kugo. I'm trying really hard to get Kugo to offer us a special discount code for you guys, my viewers. And if I am successful in that, I will put that coupon code down in the description right next to the Amazon affiliate link for these if you are interested in more information about them. Now, before we get started, I'm gonna tell you about a couple of drawbacks to using this Kugo wireless guitar system. And the first one being that like any other wireless guitar system that's less than $200, this thing operates on the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. Now that is just a really cluttered frequency spectrum, okay? And the reason why is because lots of major appliances operate in that frequency range, like your Wi-Fi. Everything uses Wi-Fi these days. So something to keep in mind, if you are playing in a large venue with lots of people and lots of cell phones, this thing might work great in rehearsal in an empty building, but once you pack it full of a few thousand people with cell phones that are all trying to connect to the free Wi-Fi, then you're gonna run into some issues. So keep that in mind. This is much more suited for rehearsal spaces and smaller venues, okay? Bars and clubs where you're only getting a couple of hundred people in there or maybe smaller to medium-sized churches. Now that being said, this Kugo is quite a bit stronger than most of the other wireless guitar transmitters that I've found that operate on that 2.4 gigahertz range. Most of these 2.4 gigahertz transmitters usually are line of sight only, but with only one wall in the way, I was actually able to reliably record my guitar demo from about 20 yards away. Maybe not 20 yards, what is that? I'm gonna measure from about 30 feet away. I was way off. Which is the max distance that I could do in my house with only going through one wall. I should also mention that that one wall is actually the one wall in the house that has my Wi-Fi router mounted on it. So that should give you an idea about how strong this wireless transmitter is, that it can transmit not only through a wall, but also right past a Wi-Fi router reliably. Now to test the max range of this thing, I took it outside so I could do a true line of sight test. And I was able to reliably record from 40 yards away. Now, now the description on this thing says that it's only good for up to 30 meters, but I'm telling you, I was able to record my demo from 40 yards away, so I think that's pretty dang cool. So all that to say, if you're playing on a small to medium sized stage for a few hundred people and you can maintain that line of sight between your amp or monitor system, then this Kugo wireless guitar system will probably get the job done just fine. The other main drawback to this design is, again, like any of these other 2.4 gigahertz transmitters, they've built the input output jack directly into the transmitter, which is just dumb. I don't know why they do that. I mean, look how stupid that looks hanging out the bottom of your guitar. I much prefer these more professional systems that come with about two feet of cable. So I actually came up with a quick hack for that. I just took an old instrument cable and I cut off about two feet of length and soldered it onto a spare output jack that I had left over from a guitar build. And then I just clicked that on right there and bam. bam. See, now doesn't that just look so much more professional? From the front anyway, from the back still looks kind of ghetto. You can just see that I'm using a binder clip there to hold it onto my strap. But that's better because that helps maintain a better line of sight than if you stick it in your pocket. So let's go ahead and talk about now how to repurpose this into a wireless in your monitor system. Like I mentioned before, the important feature on this thing is the built-in headphone amplifier. You can see there's a 3.5 millimeter jack right there that you can plug your headphones into. The only issue is that this is the receiver. So this is the end that you 
plug into your amp, which means we're gonna have to repurpose this thing. You won't be able to use it for both a instrument transmitter and an in-ear monitor transmitter at the same time. You're gonna need two separate units for that. Another cool feature about this unit is that it has an auxiliary input jack on the transmitter, okay? See, there's another 3.5 millimeter jack there on the transmitter where you can plug in your tunes that you wanna practice along with. This is the end that you would put in your guitar. Plug in your music player, and then if you don't have an amp, you plug in your headphones to this, and you can jam along, and you can listen to your music, and you can hear your guitar while you're practicing. So in order to repurpose this thing into a wireless in-ear monitor system, we simply have to reverse the connections. So the transmitter, instead of plugging it into an instrument, you're gonna plug into your monitor system, whether that's directly into the soundboard or a headphone amplifier or an AVM system, whatever. Just take the headphone output and plug it directly into there. Then this receiver is the one that you're gonna keep on you and you're gonna plug your headphones into that headphone output. Now there is one hack that you absolutely must do in order for this to work, and that's you need to ground out the hot connection of your instrument input. Otherwise, you're gonna hear all kinds of interference because this thing is gonna be picking up all kinds of noise because it won't be plugged into an instrument. So, there are two ways to do that. There's the getaway and the slightly less getaway. The getaway is to just take some aluminum foil or some other kind of metal and just wrap it around so that the tip connects to the sleeve of your output jack and that'll bleed all of the hot connection to the ground and you'll get completely silent operation. Now, because I'm me, I wanted something a little bit more reliable than just just aluminum foil wrapped around the end. So I took another output jack and I just wired in a jumper cable from the tip to the sleeve. And that makes it so that you can switch back and forth between instrument and in-ear monitors just as easy as clipping this on or pulling it off. But basically using a jumper from the tip to the sleeve will allow you to operate this as an in-ear monitor system without any interference from the instrument input. So it's very important if you want this to work. Sort of a cool thing is that using these wireless systems, I actually have a completely mobile 100% wireless recording setup. So I've got my laptop running Logic Pro. I've got my Focusrite Scarlett USB interface that is bus powered through the USB. So no power connections there, no power connections to the computer because of the internal battery. And and then I've got my wireless transmitter for my instrument input, and I've got my wireless transmitter for my headphone output. So I can leave this thing sitting on my desk, walk around to the other side of the wall there, and record reliably through the wall. And that's what I'm doing for you in this demo right here. I'm doing the same thing for you outside with my bass. If you've enjoyed this budget in-ear monitor wireless hack, then you might be interested in my video on the best budget in-ear monitors of 2018. Now, I wanna encourage you to subscribe because up and coming, I'm gonna have a video on the best budget in-ear monitors of 2019. There's definitely some new models out that you guys need to know about. I wanna thank Kugo for sending me this wireless unit for testing and evaluation and for sponsoring this video. Until next time, I'm Dan, this is Guns of Guitars, and I will see you in the next video.